So today, we're lucky enough to catch up with one of our young stars, up and coming stars, Ben Madalino. Ben, can you tell us a little about yourself, mate? Your name, where you're from, your family, who, who it consists of, and pretty much give us all of an insight on your life. Uh, my name's Ben Andrew Matalino, I'm 19 years old, born January 3rd, 1989. Um, come from Wellington and from a big family. Got four sisters and three other brothers. I'm the youngest out of all of them. Um, yeah, I didn't start playing league till I was uh, about 16, and then I was playing rugby at the time. So what made you come over to rugby league and have you enjoyed it ever since? I wasn't getting enough game time in rugby, so uh, my mates just asked me to come get some game time for his club team, because the Wellington League games are played on Sundays, and rugby games are played on Saturdays, so I was just played on Sunday. So you've made the move to Auckland at the end of last year. Um, I believe you were signed to Newcastle, but uh, change your mind, why did you change your mind and why did you decide to come to the Warriors? A lot of my family were moving out of home, and um, I was just my mum at home, so I just thought I might just hold off on that contract and just look after my mum, and the Warriors offered to me down in Wellington for a year and get paid and yeah, move up the following. So you've come up to Auckland, it's a bit of a different city to Wellington, how have you found the lifestyle and, ov and obviously the harder training that you've probably had to endure in the pre-season? It's a lot busier, it's like um, everyone's in a rush up here um, compared to Wellington. The training in that is different, like back in Wellington, just used to the two day a week trainings. Oh, Tuesday and Thursday, but up here it's training every day and I find it pretty good. You started out in the new under 20 competition at the start of the year and then finally got your uh, debut in first grade. How did you find out about your debut and how did you feel once you were told you were going to be starting in first grade? Um, Ivan came up to me and asked if I was ready and I was like, oh, do you think I'm ready? And he was like, I don't know, I'm asking you. And I go, oh, well, it's up to you. And he goes, oh, do you think you're ready? And I go, oh, do you think I'm ready? And then I was, he's like, look, do you want to play or not? And I go, oh, yeah, sweet. And he just hit sweet. So who was that against and what was the day like? You know, did the family come up? Um, you know, were you nervous? Were you excited? Uh, what is the most memorable moment from that first day? Yeah, a lot of my family came up. My brother from down in Christchurch flew over to Sydney and my brother and sister from Brisbane flew over and they all came and watched. And I think there was about eight, eight of them with my cousins in it. And it was a um, memorable day. Yeah. Did we win? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No. So were you nervous, excited, what did you feel on the day? Um, I was nervous coming up against Greg Bird and um, Paul Gallen, I think, because um, they lost 30-0 um, to Queensland from, in the state of origin and I thought they were just out to hunt people down and I think I was marking Paul Gallen. I was just nerve, nerve wracking for me. So moving on from there, you've played a few games now. Um, how have you found the gradual uh, time that you've been getting in first grade, you, you actually started a couple of first grade games. Has it been what you thought it would be and is it getting easier or is it still as hard as what it was when you first started? Um, it's a lot harder than I thought. I'm still trying to find my feet and I'm um, still trying to get my fitness right. But um, it is pretty hard coming up against big guys and big names, and names that you're used to watching on TV. So the thing that I've found interesting about you is you don't seem intimidated by who you're playing against. You said that you're you know, a bit worried about who you're going to come up against in your first game. But every time you take the field, it seems like you're playing in the under-20s. You just go out with the confidence of a first grader that's been playing for a number of years. What do you put that down to? Is it is it confidence or is it just you're, uh, you're bluffing everybody? I'm bluffing everyone because when I'm out there, I'm scared as hell. <laughs> always look out for the big guys and not to run at them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, what we've got now is Ben Madalino, the guy who's played under 20s, he's gone into first grade, he's uh, had a few games now and the team's going a lot better. What are your thoughts about the rest of this year? You know, obviously you want to stay in first grade, you want to push for, you know, selection next year in the start and so we've got a couple of older guys that are moving on. What do you see your role to be for the rest of this year and going into next year? Probably playing consistent football and just staying up in the, off the top side and um, improving on my game. One little story, a couple of weeks ago, we played against the Bulldogs, and we played against a young guy who happened to be from the same town and, and the same club that you played at, so you knew a little bit about him. Tell us his name, and tell us how unusual it was to play against someone you knew so well in first grade, in the NRL, for two great clubs, the Bulldogs and the Warriors. Uh, yeah, his name's um, Arana Tomata. He's from the same club as me, and um, I remember him just seeing me, and he just ran the straight, and he tried to throw the dummy. I got him and I had a couple of words to him in his ear <laughs> yeah, and, and in the scrum as well. Yeah, yeah um, a 
caught up with him after the game, had a um, couple of drinks, and we're just um, like saying how good it is playing top grade and playing against some good players. All right, Benny, thank you very much for a bit more of an insight into your life and where you come from. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and we look forward to the next one next week.